Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics in psychology. And you would think is education, behavior, the relationship between the East and the West, but it's really the history of psychology. And why am I so interested in the history of psychology? I think it's because it's a pretty modern science, isn't it? And it was born really towards the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century. Some philosophers will put the beginning before and some will, will point after. But I think it's pretty clear that the father of modern psychology is William James. And who is William James? William James is actually an American psychologist. He was born in New York City and he was not originally a psychologist. He actually studied to be a doctor. He was a physiologist like they said in those times. But William James was really interested in what happens inside the mind. And there were no easy answers. Philosophy, which was the discipline that studied basically what happens with human behavior and thought and discipline, did not explain the whys most of the time. And physiology or medicine would not explain it completely either. So what better way to marinate these two than to start creating a new science, which today we call the science of psychology. So just to give you a little background on William James, he, even though he was born in, in the United States of America, he was born in New York City, he was really educated in Europe. And he had the opportunity to meet with so many different philosophers and study a lot of what would, would be his teachings later on. He was also interested in the, the relationship between religion and behavior and he is said to um, have a master who was also a Buddhist monk who taught him how to meditate. And because there's such a relationship between Buddhism and the study of the mind, he became really interested in understanding how meditation would um, have this impact on, on the mind and it is actually said that in one of his speeches, he actually pointed to the monk and said, don't ask me for questions, ask him. He really is the one who knows about the mind. And later on, we will talk about the relationship between Eastern philosophies and Western thought and how that made an impact into the beginnings of psychology. But for now, just know that it helped William James understand psychology as a study of introspection. And to put it very simply, introspection is really the study of what's inside your mind. You will see things in the outside world, you see objects, you see situations, but it's your mind that interprets what's going on. And William James was really interested in, in studying what the mind interprets to the reality outside of itself. I hope you enjoy this short video on William James and the history of psychology, and I'll see you very soon with more information on understanding psychology. Bye.